When you get your footage into Premiere when you're shooting with a DSLR, a lot of times they're little four gigabyte clips or 10 minute clips for long event type stuff. And it's hard to sync that whole thing to your audio. So today we're gonna figure out how to do that. Yesterday was my birthday, the day I filmed this. So today is my birthday, but you're watching this tomorrow, which is today. And I just turned 30. So that's good. Hello and welcome back to another Friday show. I'm so glad that you tuned in here. On my channel, I like to talk about filmmaking and audio for video as well as composing and all things creative. So if any of that interests you in any way, shape or form, hit that subscribe button. Join the fam. We're moving hand in hand towards greatness in 2018. So not wasting any time. If you've ever been in Premiere and you've tried to sync your footage, you know you're gonna have issues when you have those little clips that a DSLR can make. So for example, the Panasonic GH4 shoots in FAT32 file sizes, so it doesn't shoot any chunk of video bigger than than four gigabytes. So if you take a, if you have a long take you need to sync from like a wedding or an event recap video or something like that, you have to stop and sync the front part with the other camera, in this case the C100 and, and the audio, a couple different takes of audio, and it's just a mess. And Premiere has traditionally had a hard time doing that because it doesn't have the best sync engine, although it's gotten better this year. So if you don't have something like Pluralize or another third party syncing audio sync software, you gotta figure out how to do that. So here's a trick to make that so much easier for you literally will save your life. It is as simple as taking that DSLR footage that is broken up over time into so many different clips that just touch each other, highlight all of them, right click it and hit nest. And literally that takes care of everything. All your problems are solved in that one move because now it's just like it's a continuous take. So you can just sync everything. You don't have to worry about matching things back up on the back end, which is really nice. So then you would just take all your footage, all your footage and all your audio, you'd, you'd select all of it, right click, hit synchronize, choose audio and track one and boom, let Premiere work its magic. Now, what if Premiere doesn't work? What if Premiere does what it always used to do in the last few years before this more modern update? Which by the way, in regards to Premiere, I am running version 12.0.1, just so you know, for reference. In version 10 and before, I think in just Adobe CC 2016, honestly, it had really, really bad syncing problems and it just never worked and you had to go in there and do it manually by your eye, which is very frustrating. But the modern Premiere does a really good job as long as you have clean audio on each of your sources. Audio from your DSLR, scratch audio from your main cams, that kind of stuff, as well as lavalier audio, close-up audio, dialogue audio, whatever you have from the event or the wedding. As long as it's all clean and relatively distinguishable, Premiere shouldn't have a problem with it. So that's it. It's as simple as that. Nest your DSLR footage so that you have one long continuous take, which is so much easier for Premiere Pro to work with. Just let me know. Let me know if you shoot events or weddings, how do you synchronize your audio? Did this nesting tip help you? Let me know in the comments. We'd love to chat with you with the keyboards like we like to do in 2000. 2018. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join the movement and the family. Like the video, share it with your friends because that's the best way to grow in 2018. And introduce yourself. I love continuing to meet each and every one of you. I really do appreciate you all for being here. With nothing else, I will see you next week.